So a few years back, I was playing my trampoline with my brother and my cousin. I can't really remember the details, but somehow we had to go back inside for something. Um, so my brother and my cousin just rushed off because they like to kind of race each other sometimes. Um, and I was last of the trampoline, and I remember that I jumped off, and he plunged straight into some hedge clippers, um, which are the, basically like big scissors, but you and you use them to chop hedges. Um, I screamed like hell, and I remember, and then my, my brother asked me. Uh, if I was okay, and he was like, you okay, dude? No, and I said, yeah, because I was a cool as edgy dude, and I didn't want to be showing pain to anyone, so, yeah. I just said, I'm fine. Once they left, I looked down at my foot and realized that the hedge clippers actually disappeared into my foot, and I called for them, but by then it was too late, they were gone. I went to hospital, and they said in my, they were going to give me stitches. I was scared to shock because these were my first stitches, and I was not going to go down with a fight. No big surprise, I went down without a fight. You can't talk against adults when you're that young. So they gave me they gave me something that was called laughing gas, which I didn't know about, and they said it was going to take away my pain. Um, I don't know if it comes in, how many flavors it comes in, but my one was chocolate flavored. So yeah, I just laid on the operating table, and this is where it goes a bit kind of hazy. So I guess laughing gas is sort of just drugs, I think. It, it, it seems a lot like drugs. I wouldn't know what drugs, being on drugs is like, but I assume it's like this, uh, just because you seem kind of high the entire time. So, um, I remember my dad was sitting next to me during the operation, and, because I was still conscious, you, you're conscious during the operation, but it just kind of takes away the pain. And I called him, I just started calling him, I, there are a few things I remembered, um, which were calling my dad a cartoon, and I also remember like saying that my hand looks funny and wrinkly and stuff um now if that if it stopped there then i would have kind of been fine with it just because that's nothing really but the annoying thing was that the laughing gas once the operation had started it did nothing i still felt like i as soon as the operation started my dad was like okay you're gonna feel a bit of pain now and i was like what i, I wasn't supposed to feel any pain and then agony just pure agony and it took away like no pain and i got really angry about it um, and then I also started throwing up, um, like, constantly, and just in random spurts of throwing up, and, like, uh, I blacked out eventually, and, yeah, I, I kept, I sort of lapsed in and out of consciousness, um, just because, and I, whenever I did lapse into consciousness, I was, you know, I was throwing up, so, after the operation, I was kind of annoyed about the laughing gas, and I said, I'm never going to use that again. Uh, I was really out in a wheelchair, and just for how, like, disgusted I felt, I felt like not eating McDonald's. My dad said, do you want to get some McDonald's? I was like, no thanks, I'm okay. Which, that, that, that never happens to me. Who turns down McDonald's? On the bright side, I had school camp a few days later, and I had these big-ass boots I had to wear to clunk around in. And I remember that I bragged to my about my shoes and how they were bulletproof because a, a guy at the shop had told me they were bulletproof. Thanks for watching, guys. Spot her out.